Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to combine text and numbers into one cell in Microsoft Excel without using the concatenate function. Um, you can check out one of my previous videos how to use a concatenate function to join text and numbers together into one cell but this video is solely based on how to join them together without using the function and it's a fairly straightforward process before I continue please like subscribe and share So what I've got opened up here is a spreadsheet with three columns. In the first column, I have um, the first name of a person. The second name, um, second column, I have the surname. And in the third column, column C, I've got their ages. Now in column D, what I want, I want to join all this information from columns A, B and C. So they are together in column D. So let's say you want a report generated with all that information um, or you want to summarize the data this is an easy way for you to do it now the first thing you need to do um, where you want the information to be joined the text and numbers where you want them to be in that one cell you highlight the cell you want the information to go now the first thing you need to do when you do a formula in Excel is you type equals on your keyboard so I type in equals then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting the um, first column so or the cell in the first column so it's the first name here John now what we're going to do so the formula currently is equals a1 what we're going to do is add an ampersand in there then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the second column we want to join together so the second column is um, the, set of the value in column b here and then what we're going to do we're going to follow the same procedure and add another ampersand like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the third value from the third column which is here <clears throat> now what we're going to do is type enter now what you would see is you will see the information has been joined together but there is a problem the problem is um, obviously in terms of formatting there's no space between the first name surname and the age there so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be highlighting the cell where the joined cells are which is here and we're going to go over to the formula bar here now this is the formula you can see exactly what formula we've typed in um, to get this value here now what we need to do we need to point our cursor from our mouse after the first ampersand because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a space now to add a character or any symbol in Excel what we need to do we need to make sure those characters or that space is in speech marks so we're going to add a speech mark like this we're going to add the space and we're going to close that speech mark off like this now if I typed enter now it will come up with an error message so if I typed in enter it will come up with an error message saying my formula it has got a few errors which is fine I know what they that error is the error is I've not added an ampersand after my closing speech mark there so I click on OK go back to my formula before the B1 after that speech mark add an ampersand then move on to the next um, now if I click on enter see what happens it's now added a space between the first name and the surname but I need to follow the same procedure to add a space between the surname and the age there so I highlight that cell again move over to my um, formula bar click on just before or just after sorry the ampersand and then add another speech mark space close my speech mark off and then remember to add that ampersand to uh, finish that formula off and then click on enter and there we have it so we've got the first name space surname space and then the number which is the age in on this occasion now what you can do is follow that same principle to add that formula in the other cells here to complete this table but there is an easy way or an easier way I should say to co copy and paste that formula in the other cells what you need to do is go back to that first cell where the formula is in 
go to the bottom right hand corner of that cell until your cursor changes to the black cross there. Keep your finger on the left mouse button and keep it down. Drag that cursor down to the other cells. Let go of the left mouse button and you will see very quickly that formula has been copied to the other cells. So you can do this with a variety of different texts, numbers, um, bits of information on your Excel um, spreadsheet. This was just a quick and easy way showing you how to join text and numbers into one cell in Microsoft Excel without having to use that concatenate function you can simply use ampersands in between the cells using that equals um, symbol as well to start off the formula. I hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share.